Welcome back to the fields of Perthshire in Bonnie, Scotland. And today I'm on a rescue mission. Uh, when I was out last time, not only did I have an exceptional day with three hammered coins and a silver George III, but I lost my headphones. I don't believe it, I lost my headphones. The battery died while I was filming on my phone, on my camera. And uh, I was lying down, just like this. You don't want to miss this. Oh, my goodness. And now I've looked back through the old video and you can see they're hanging off. They're nearly ready to fall off. And I think when I've stood up, they've fallen off. The battery to my metal detector, sorry, my battery to my, uh, to my camera has died. So I've turned the metal detector off, not realising that the headphones have fallen off my hat. I got home, um, didn't even realise because I left everything in the car. And then I uh, started looking for them yesterday to charge them. And I couldn't find them anywhere. So I'm hoping I'm going to find them. And if I do, it'll probably be my find of the day. But I'm back on this field. It got me four silvers on the last dig, including a coin from the 1220s to 1270s, a coin from the 1270s to 1307, and a coin from 1603. All of them silver, all of them hammered. And I also got a George the Third sixpence as well. So, fingers crossed that my uh, my headset's going to turn up. But as ever, if you're not subscribed, then please hit the button. Right, let's go and see if we can find a three hundred pound pair of headphones and maybe a hammered coin or two as well. Look at that! There is my hammered coin from last time, and look, yes. You beauty! I got them! I have got them! Oh, unbelievable! Fantastic! Hopefully they still work. They are a little bit wet, they've been out in the rain. But fingers crossed that they're okay. Oh, thank goodness for that. Find of the day. And I haven't even started. Thank goodness I was using the Go Terrain app from XP. I didn't record the hammered coin that I found right at the death because the camera died before I could record it. But when I was looking at the map, I could see that big circle and I thought that's where I'd found the coin. But in actual fact, it was that tiny little squiggle. And I've got them. You beauty. It looks as if my headphones are okay. The battery was almost dead when I lost them. And uh, so I've just gone with the speaker and it's probably a good idea just to let them dry out at home for 24 or 48 hours before I charge them. But at last, I was beginning to think all the targets had disappeared. It's taken a while, but... It's a Screamer, 91. Silver on the first, Georgian copper, spendable two pence. Or a big bit of brass. Or a bottle top. Oh, in fact, there's something right there. Ah, it's a big thing. Oh, I think I got one similar to this off this field. The one time that I did dig it. A couple of years ago. Yes, I think I did. So it's a piece of bronze, I think. Eh, sorry, not bronze, brass. It's that kind of, what do they call that decoration? I'm going to call it OG, but I know that's not what it is. But, well, it's probably off of a bit of furniture or maybe a fire surround or something like that. But it's going to be a couple of hundred years old, potentially. But it's a start and it's not aluminium. Nothing for the first half hour and then I've had two signals in two minutes. I'm in the area where I got the sixpence, which is uh, James the Sixth of Scotland, became James the First of England, and it's the year that that happened, 1603. So my battery ran out when I was up here last. So this is where I'm focusing 
my attention to begin with. Yeah. What is there? Must be quite small. Stone. Pull these out of the way. Oh, oh no way. I think we've got silver on the, I was going to say the first hole. The second hole, I think we have. We've got a thruppence. It's not quite wanting to come away. Who is it? Might be George. It might be George. George V, I think. Let's get the spray bottle out. Well, what a start. This will be the fifth silver coin off this field. Oh, it's a cracker as well. Look at that, look at those oak nuts. <laughs> if you remember that foo pa that I made. 1931, so five years before his death, and it is a silver thruppence. It's a really nice coin. A really nice coin. Very good detail. Wee bit of toning on there, but on the whole it's in pretty beautiful condition. Not a lot of wear whatsoever. Nice. Really nice. So we not long had the Wall Street crash, what was that, 29? 1929? And uh, this would be 50% silver. And we're sort of, uh, what are we, eight years off the beginning of the Second World War. Fantastic. Silver is always welcome, and surprise, surprise, it's George V, our most commonly found monarch. It's a bit weird to be detecting without headphones on. Um, one thing that I did in the infancy when I, well not even the infancy, for probably the first 18 years that I metal detected, I never wore headphones and I didn't have a pinpointer. And my goodness do I miss having headphones and I always use my pinpointer. I don't know how I got by without those two things. Well worth having both of, both of them. 88 this time. I mean, I don't think it's a coin. I don't think it's a coin. But worth investigating. We've got a bit of lead, I think. Yep. Did get a couple of lead sack seals out, or bag seals out this field, but I don't think it's one of them. I think it's just a random wee piece. And yes, it looks like it. Oh well, bit of junk. We have another. A very nice sounding 84 this time. And out. What's it going to be? It's green. And it's a thing. Oh, it's a... It's a bit of a, a plate or something. It's got a wee hole in it. A couple of holes in it. Maybe even a bit of a hinge. A quail. Excuse the mess. I've cleared away. It's quite some... Big, uh, long bits of barley there, which I've moved out of the way. Still down there. A little bit harder ground, a little bit stonier. We're out though. We are out and it's still sounding very nice. 1991. I'm going with coin. That is round. It's a coin. It's a coin. It's got to be a coin. Look how fat it is. Ah, it's going to be a George. The third this time. Oh, there he is. I can see him already. can just about make a head coming through already. So you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn you off. I'm going to dry it out. And I'm going to give it a wee rubby-dubby.
It didn't come up quite as well as I was hoping, but you can clearly see the head of George the Third there, Mr. Potato Head, looking to the right hand side. Farmer George, as he was also known, because he was quite uh, interested in agriculture, agricultural improvements. He married uh, Charlotte of Mecklenburg, and they had, I think, about 14 children together. And strangely, he never took a mistress. And he actually met his wife Charlotte for the first time half an hour before he married her. So there you go. A love at first sight, apparently. But it's going to be sometime between 1760 and 1820. I think it's probably just the turn of the 1800s, so probably about 1802, 1806. And this has certainly got you one, maybe even two pints of beer back then. Nice little coin. The back is pretty toasty. I could just about make out a Britannia, but... It's dried out a bit too much, so... No, there she is. You can see her sitting on the rock with a shield by her side. So there you are, a nice little copper Georgian coin from the beginning of the 1800s. That's the oldest thing I've had to date today, and uh, I'm sure there's hopefully going to be more to come from this field. A tad chittery, this one. Yeah, it is maybe, maybe deep iron, maybe deep iron. Or maybe something with a bit of iron next to it. Yeah, it's still a bit jumpy. So I think there's iron in the hole. Yeah, take one more out and then... We'll try and pinpoint it. I think it's deep iron. Maybe a big iron iron hoop. No, well, maybe not. I oh, should have knocked all these down better. Well, there you go. There's a bit of iron in the hole still, so maybe it's not iron. Here we go, lead I think. Definitely feels heavy. It could be a weight. Did get a weight off this field last time. Different shape, it was a kind of uh, beehive sort of shape. A little sort of domed weight with a hole through it. Has this got a hole through it or is it a slingshot even? Nope, we've got a hole. There's a hole. There's another hole. Yep, two holes. So it goes all the way through. Where's my uh, wee tool? Where's the les tool? There it is. Yep. So there is a hole and the mud's coming out the other end so it does go all the way through. There you go. So what is it? Could be a lead weight for like rabbit netting. They often used to use nets to catch rabbits in the fields, big long nets. Could be a fishing weight, we're not far from the river, we're, we're actually only about 400 yards away from a river, so it could be a, a fishing net for catching salmon, uh, or it could be a kind of steel yard weight for the farm, but it's probably got a fair wee bit of age to it, I would think that that's probably going to be at least 300 years old, and it could well be 500, even a thousand or more years old, interesting little find, not bad at all. I thought to myself, this is going to be silver, and look, on the surface, I can see another bottle top. I've had three on the trot. One here, one there, and another one there. The joys of metal detecting. Oh, nearly. One, two, three. Is it going to be four bottle tops on the trot? Oh, it is. I <laughs> don't believe it. Well, there you go. I thought that was maybe going to be a coin, but oh man, I must be in the wrong spot. This is obviously where they sat and drank their whiskey. This must be a new world record. Five bottle tops on the bounce. Happy times. As if finding all the bottle tops wasn't bad enough, now we've got our first ring pool. Fantastic. I'm in double figures for bottle tops, and uh, this is going to be 
my last target I think for the day calling it quits I'm over the moon that I got my headphones that was that was the hope for the day that I would find them so it was a great day from that moment onwards because I was really anguishing at the fact that I'd lost them somewhere but thankfully the old day uh, oh it's a stone no it's there somewhere thankfully I was saved by the uh, the XP program if I hadn't had that, had that on then I wouldn't have had a a breadcrumb of where I'd been walking well, it's not a bottle top, so let's look at the bright side. It's an electrical fitting, I think. Or a bit of webbing for a belt or a buckle. No, I think it's possibly an electrical socket. Part of an electric, an old plug or an old fuse or something. I'm sure people have said before. But it could be a wee bit of a buckle for military clothing or such like. But either way, at least it's not a bottle top. And that's going to be my last find of the day. And that is me from the blowy fields of Perthshire. And you can see the skies are darkening. There's apparently rain on the way. Many of you commented on the previous video. The woolly hat is back on already. It's been a pretty dire summer in Scotland. And I think it's going to be a cold winter. But we'll wait and see what happens. It's certainly turned a lot, lot cooler. So a pretty, uh, pretty good day yet again. A couple of coins, one of them silver. You can't complain. And then finding my £300 headphones. I didn't realise they cost that much till I looked up on Regton's website how much it would cost to get a replacement. And I thought they would maybe be £120, £150. No, they're £300. So I am delighted that I found them. So I'll get them home, I'll dry them out, and then I'll get them on charge. And in future, I will look after them better. No more lying down. Well, actually, maybe I will. Right, as ever, if you're not subscribed, please hit the button. And let's have a wee look at the best of the best. And there we go. Two coins. My little lead weight. Uh, my wee bit of, I'm going to call it OG, but I know that's not what it's called. But anyway, Augury maybe? I can't remember. Um, and my little thing that I just got there at the death. Uh, also got the George the Third, which is a, a half penny, I think. And then I got the uh, little George the Fifth silver. So... As I always say, any day when you get a coin is a good day. Two coins is a great day. Two coins and one of them silver is a fantastic day. So I'm over the moon with that. Fantastic. Really good day. And this field has now produced five silver coins in two digs. That ain't bad at all. I think I'll nickname this field the, the silver coin and bottle top field because I think I got 10 or 11 bottle tops today certainly I was into double figures anyway I think I got six or seven on the trot so as I mentioned earlier as ever if you like the channel and you're not already subscribed then please hit the button and hopefully you'll see me on my next dig which will be hopefully coming very very soon so uh, as ever thank you all for watching thank you for the fantastic support thank you for uh, me finding my headphones and uh, we'll see you all on the next dig. So take care and thanks for watching.